one wrong move against Crack, and he just you know blows you up. Just you know that's fair. I mean that that's Crack. That's that's Crack. Listen, Crack will get to you. It takes a little bit for him to get to you, but once he gets to you, oh boy! All right, now let's see how it feels. Akashi ZB. Got another top eight qualifier in what's sizing up to be one of the strangest, yet still hype taps. Yeah, hype in a different way than it was last time. Like, there's still plenty of action, but it's the matchups are just. They ramp up in the energy in the strangest of ways, because on paper, this shouldn't seem like that exciting of a matchup. <laughs> but I mean, it, <laughs> yeah, he's getting put in the farm for a little bit, but man, it is just so easy. And then that is the. That is the reversals that feel very ZB, just throwing out uh, in, in, a, in a situation you expect uh, the crack player wanting to disengage. Him and Sick going for this huge pillar combo and trying to convert it into up airs to kill Absa off the top. Super flex. All right, I like the down strong just to rack up the damage. Kosh has got a little bit of work ahead of him. All right, gets the fair after the trade anyway with proper DI, destroying the pillar and trying to make ZB's life harder and harder. I um, like that setup. Five down tilt. Oh, hello there. That was super clean on the part of Akashi. Able to get down as soon as the pillar started, anticipating the timing with a wave land and a down strong. Yeah, I was just about to say, like, there was, a, there was an air dodge there. There was very deliberate positioning to do that, and you gotta hold all that damage, otherwise you're set in such a bad situation as Craig. That's the, those are some of the damage equalizers that give Absa, just so much staying power. The trade on the fair into Upstrong, though, and those trades are almost always going to be in Crag's favor. Oh, Ooh, hold on. for it again, too, after getting landing on the pillar. Now we wait, and we yep. get hit by Forda, and so we go back to pillar, and then we wait. Patience is a virtue in this matchup from both players because Crag movement must be deliberate. Are you sure about that? <laughs> because Crag, ZB is sending this Crag like a cannonball straight into Akashi. Yes, but it is. <laughs> it's a decision that's made with a lot of purpose. It's not like Very he's just true. moving about for the sake of. And I feel like you have to do that against a naturally higher tempo character like uh, Absa. Oh, the empty landing there was interesting, but he is able to refresh his pillar on this platform. Looking for what could have been a nair into something. It gets a parry. Couple up airs. Goes for neutral at that time, and it gives ZB an opening for a ton of damage, putting Absa well within kill percent. All right, the, the little hits. The, the value of Cloud is just your standard projectile. There's so much more behind it, but sometimes you just got to throw the fireball. That turnaround would have been crazy, but he comes down with forward air. ZB looking insane with some of these setups, as uh, with some of these counterplay options, as he just chooses to be sometimes extremely patient, but sometimes just go forward with reckless abandon. I love the fact that Akashi is like forced to mix up the landings from very high as well. Ooh, this could be huge. It could be a stock. It could be the game just hitting him with the the simplicity. Yeah. Like, Sometimes it, it comes with a crack thing where your opponent is expecting a parry, so sometimes they won't do it, thinking you'll cancel early in order to try and punish. But that time, just calling out the fact that ZB would hold the side B. You know, I like it. It's yeah. sometimes simplicity is, is key, especially when you have a character that has so many variable options as Absa. And Craig has a way of being able to turn a lot of those options around you, especially depending on how you move. And all you're doing is moving up while ZB has a say in the matter. Ooh. 20 seconds in, by the way. Just little Craig things, especially on the blast zones of Air Armada, you are perishing to anything that Craig can find, of which Craig and Air, I mean, each hit can combo, and each hit's just a little bit different. Doing plenty of damage while he does so. You see how much Nair he's oh. using, forcing the uh, the early up beat. He has his had plenty of resources to get back. Oh. Absa doing it so in turn, but Akashi needs a lot more than that, and that'll do it. Yep. Getting that sweet spot fair and trying to uh, interesting attempt at a parry, but I guess rather riskless. It's just strange connections that we're seeing from these characters. I feel like Zibi's playing everything by the book. Which is odd uh, sentence in itself. And yeah, Akashi's first. just finding the weirdest ways to hit and keeping an, well, attempting to keep an even game. 
This is International Criminal GB, though, as he does have some... <laughs> He does have some tricks up his sleeve, though. Akashi seems ready for many of them at the point of this game, but wasn't quite ready for that one. Gets the rock pull as well. Shards to keeping the uh, the extension alive and doing a good job of playing around this high platform. Missing the up air barely, though, but ZB's working on a strong two stock, if not for a couple of these up tilts coming out from Akashi. Barely whiffing that up smash. Oh! The restraint on Akashi to press forward after getting those hits, though. Absolutely vital. EB's movement with Krag is its often so subtle, but it does wonders for these little dashbacks or, or full hops that drift in and out. It does enough with Krag to keep you guessing, and in that point with the down special, that is so... That is a big part of how ZB changes up the game plan, because it's not just about how when he's doing it, but where he is on the platform. How many spires show up on the ground, and if you're ready to parry it. Yeah, no, this is such a weird connection, too. Like, just get swooshed uh, right into yeah. it, and it's like, all right. Yeah, I guess I got my hit. Bomp. Yeah, he looked like he wave dash into the third one. Yep. Just getting a little, uh, trying to punish that a little bit too early. Dashing forward, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were two wave dashes, too. Like, Akashi, like, put an effort it, to get there. It's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we banning Fire Capital, Tree Top, and Forest Floor. Makes Got sense. Those stages all can get really silly depending on connections from down special. It's dangerous quickly as it is. Trop time. Trouple. 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 Why did they name this stage? <laughs> I don't know. It's the name of the fish. Yeah. This pond. Where he lives. I guess. And we're des we're desecrating it with violence. A whole lot of violence. <laughs> <laughs> that was so perfectly timed. Thank you, DB. <laughs> As he gets the parry and bouncing off the rock too. Yeah, oh. you gotta hold that. Oh. <laughs> you gotta hold all that, my guy. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, not done yet. Like he's fishing to get the oh, whole he's, clip he's and nothing looking. but the clip. Can we finish this game in under a minute? I mean, Akashi's certainly getting a whole lot more control out of it, though. You know, bouncing back and forth, getting a dash deck to maintain this. ZB just able to refresh the resources, keeping the double jump until the very last moment. Oh, that was a good wave land. Not going to close out the stock quite yet. But he needs stuff. Uh, Akashi will need things and openers such as that. Forcing the bomb. Ooh, I like that. Just going for the jab just to keep it going. And the littlest touch. Hope the, the armored, armored return. And the armor keeps. <gasps> wow, it can only last so long, though. <laughs> Powering through a sweet spot flare and more, but not against that up strong. And after what was a hell of a start for ZB, he's going to finish it with a hell of a closer. Calling out the DI from. Uh, from Akashi into a wave dash forward down strong. Yo, Akashi was not with getting turned into a Twitch clip those first two stocks. No, not at all. That game only lasted like a minute and a half. Honestly? Like <laughs> and it if, was the last stock. Like if, <laughs> if Akashi had just a tiny bit more of a like wiggle room, very well could have turned to his favor. And there was the eye to, to, have, them, uh, to have them survive. Not sure what it would be, but the... As, is ZB actively explaining something about Crag to them? I mean, that was a really screwy start to that. Oh, yeah. So, it's like, all right, bro. I can't just beat you. I need to teach you how to play the game. Yes. <laughs> you okay. have to know how can, I'm beating you. Can you give me some competition, please? <laughs> just like actually river dances on you for all two right. stocks. Come like, on. All right, this is a learning experience. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> those, those two stocks you take you took from me, those were just lessons. <laughs> Wait, this is a learning environment we're at. This doesn't count for the RCS, so here we're trying to breed growth. Allegedly doesn't count. Allegedly. Might count. Maybe. Perhaps. Could be. And this is a classic absence stage. This is the absence stage. Yeah, this is Akashi does silly things to you in about three minutes, if you can survive to that point. Yeah. You know, no guarantees. Ooh, that fair came in hardcore. Looking for the down, uh, the down special as well. I mean, most of the time, Akashi, when looking for those parry punishes, it's basically all off down air. Oh, oh. Those. 
You miss the parry, but still recover with a reverse jab. So Yo, what? That, that rock came around at such the wrong time. It's interesting that Akashi always seems to look at down air as a starter rather than a finisher. Very seldomly looking for it off stage, but on stage for parries, it's been primo as that down strong closes it down. Okay, bye, pillar. Such uh -oh. a curious decision. To focus on pillar? Yeah, focusing on removing pillar and rock while ZB is positioning like completely elsewhere. I mean, it didn't backfire that heavily on no, Akashi, yeah. but it is a very strange focus that needed highlighting because, like, it shows Akashi's mindset in this time. It's like, all right, this is what I want to focus on. These are the resources I want to remove. This is what I want to take out of play. It helps narrow down what you have to react to, which is proving to be a vital aspect of the match when fighting against CB because there's so many of these high-pressure situations that just pop up out of nowhere. I can definitely see why in just watching how that interact, how that onstage play unfolded, there was multiple life-ending hits that uh, Akashi took, but was able to tech off rock and platform. Maybe you wanted to force ZB to put the pillar in a position where both of them can use it for survival. But he's out there. Oh, the that was the rock in hand. The timing was so good from Akashi. Oh, but the shards clean up what Crag Fair doesn't, as this is an even game four. Trying to head back into the... Trying to head to a third consecutive game five for these two, but not if ZB is able to get all kinds of hits in there. Oh, where are you going? Not into Crag Upstrong at the very least, as ZB finds a tech in order to find the reversal of the Akashi line. <gasps> nets them a little hit, but it turns into a huge disadvantage as he comes down with that down special to close out the stock and close out the game. Look at this. That Hail Mary dive at the end of that interaction is wild. Like, All right. He takes that hit, but has to DI crazy. I'm there. Bump. Yeah, me too. It's what I love about this rock pull, like you take the line, and, but the rock is falling at such an angle, like it's going like this, right? So Akashi can no longer DI out and adjust. He has to just come straight up instead. Like this is off limits. And do you know what? who is here ready to like come in like a wrecking ball? A, a wrecking time. ball. <laughs> it's crack time. <laughs> and it's crack time. Like honestly, the only way that I could foresee Akashi having survived that, if we roll back just a tiny bit, so, hold on. Give me a little phone forward. So, depending on resources available, let's see what we've got. There's still a jump available at this yeah. point. You would have to, like, up special around the, the, the rock. Like, tech the hit in from the rock just to avoid that. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, no, that's, that's a lot of reacting. That's a lot of unorthodox thinking because you're stuck in such a strange situation. Like, you... She's got to hold that. Yeah. You know what would have been based, though? If he jump, if he jumped and up or upied wide, then back down, land on the rock, then double jump back up. That would have been ridiculous. That would have been based. That would truly. <laughs> Who's ready for that? Nobody. And yeah, if you no, say there's... you're ready for that, you're wrong. Yeah, no, there's, 